What up, y'all? This is Grumman, a place to be with a G-R-H-Y-M-E. Fucking, I watched the fucking wrestling promo for The Gathering, The Legends of Wrestling. This gonna be the shit. I mean, fuck it. Most of the guys there are probably fucking 50 or 60 by now. But damn, dude, this these are people, dude, growing up, man. I always got down with the wrestling. I would be in the backyard doing some fucking cross-faced chicken wing Bob Backlund shit, some fucking Roddy Piper poke, poke my fucking best friend in the eye and shit. Kind of bullshit, and this is fucking awesome. Rock and Roll Express is going to be there. I met them fucking back in, oh shit, like 95. Fucking got them to autograph a fucking old ass WCW sweater. Fucking, it was one of them real old shits that was like fucking just plain white with the fucking green uh, stencil shit on it, you know? Fucking, they the shit though, and see them going against Headbangers, who, I don't know if y'all remember, but fucking Headbangers dumped Shaggy off the fucking tour bus in WWF way back in the day. Fucking, Headbangers helped out the fucking midgets when they fucking were fighting Kane, they busted a boombox over his head and shit. It was just, you know, that's gonna be a great show, man, fucking. The, the Royal Rumble match is gonna be the fucking shit, except for the fact the Hacksaw Jim Duggan's gonna be there. I fucking hate that guy. When I was like seven years old, right, I was at a fucking WCW event in Virginia. And fucking, I had WCW Magazine number one. And I walk up in there, you know, or we outside and shit, and I'm talking to him, you know. I want, trying to get this dude to autograph my shit. And he was just a bitch. He's like, can't do it, gotta go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was drunk at the time, too. Motherfucker. But he just wouldn't fucking take 30 seconds out of his life to give a fan an autograph and say what up. That's when I started hating that motherfucker. Fucking, he was in the car with fucking Nasty Boys. And fucking Brian Knobs looks at him like, what the fuck? Looks at me and says, hey kid, yeah, we got time. Come here, I'll give you an autograph if you want it. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Fucking Brian Knobs is the shit. And fucking him and... I can't remember other dude's name for the life of me right now, but it was both the Nasty Boys autographed that shit. WW or WCW magazine number one. Yeah, so they was the shit. I wish they would have been there. But fucking Fagsaw, Jim ducking, um, dunking down on, yeah, fuck, ducking down and bobbing on cocky shit's gonna be there. Fuck it, I fucked it up. I always trying to make up something off the spot. Fucking Fagsaw, Jim Duggan. But everybody else is going to be cool. Hopefully he the first one out to ring so we ain't got to see his bitch ass mumbling around there and shit. Piece of shit. I hate that motherfucker so much. That was a big turning point in my life when I realized wrestlers were real people and they were just, a lot of them were just fucking assholes. All enough though, nasty boys. The guys who were supposed to be dicks. They was cool as shit. Yeah. That was a happy memory, though, because... Anyway, on back to my topic. Fucking, we got Ro Rowdy Roddy Piper versus Terry Funk. What the fuck? Dude, that's going to be off the chain. Straight up. Fucking, we got DX versus NWO. Well, the New Age Outlaws versus the Outsiders, if you want to get down to the fucking nitty-gritty. So the New Age Outlaws, Badass Billy Gunn, and Road Dog Jesse James, formerly, formerly know they were just Billy Gunn and Jesse James Armstrong way back in the day, versus Scott Hall, a.k.a. Raise Him Up Motherfucking Ramon. You know, machismo. Fucking, and fucking Dieselers. Kevin Nash, whatever, dude, fucking, holy shit, give me jackknives, fucking razor's edges, fucking, I don't forget who, oh yeah, they're gonna be fucking, what the fuck were New Age Outlaws finishing moves, I don't even remember, dude, that's been back in the day, yeah, this is gonna be the shit, dog, y'all gonna see my ass over there, you know, Fucking, as soon as Duggan comes out, I'm going to be booing that motherfucker. So you'll know the motherfucker going, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, that's me. 
Yo, shit, everybody will be yelling at shit, but I'll probably be the only one yelling at motherfucking Duggan. Because I hate that mother. Mm. That's the only thing that I'm going to not like about this show. Everything else is worth showing up. I will put up with the three minutes or whatever I have to see that motherfucker. Because this is going to be a great, iconic fucking match, dude. This shit, this whole fucking event is going to be the shit. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Fuck, and the shit, the cool fucking thing about it is, fucking Mick Foley's going to be there as a ring announcer and shit. Fucking, he grew up watching Jimmy Snuka and shit. Jumping off the cage in Madison Square Garden and shit. That's why fucking Mankind and Cactus Jack and all them other fucking dude love were all fucking willing to fall 20 feet and shit, you know, through a cage because Superfly was up in that motherfucker. Speaking of which, odd random fact, my first fucking four wrestling action figures were the fucking, the, um, was it the Headhunter, the Headhunters, uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper and Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Yeah. Fucking A, man. I haven't been to a wrestling show in a long ass time, dude, and this gonna be the motherfucking shit. So, yeah. I might just be a country boy from the South, but hell yeah, dude, I'm grow I grew up to fucking wanna get drunk and watch some motherfuckers throw each other around and shit. Fuck it. You know? Born in Georgia, grew up in Virginia. And fucking See, we all the same, man. I don't know why Juggalos gotta hate on people from the South and shit. I don't know why fucking people gotta hate on Juggalos. We all the same. We like watching people fucking... We like getting drunk and watching people fucking get hurt. Okay, wrestling ain't real, whatever. Motherfucker. People still have to have a lot of tolerance to pain and a lot of fucking... What's the word? Stamina to be able to get up and run around that shit. Especially being fucking 60 years old and shit. My brother's just running around jumping and shit. Fuck, dude. I, I don't want to be in a ring that long, dude. Fuck. Maybe five minutes. And then I'm like, need a fucking cigarette. But there's also the ECW guys. Let's see. They got Raven, fucking Al Snow, fucking... I don't fucking remember. They got a special mystery guest. That's the one that's got me tripping. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Sabu or the Sandman. One of the two. Fucking y'all got any ideas who you think it might be? Fucking shout it out. Let me know in a comment or some shit. If y'all saw the video, tell me who your favorite wrestler is. If you think that I'm stupid for not liking Duggan, fuck it. Tell me why. Tell me something, ninjas, because I know y'all motherfuckers... Have to love this wrestling shit as much as I do. Alright, peace.